I'm very excited about today's call. Um, as most of you saw in the email, we have a guest speaker today. Instead of uh, instead of me talking about something in you know terms of motivating or anything like that, I wanted to get someone that you guys have seen his name consistently up at the top of the leaderboard. I wanted him to be able to share his week because he had a really awesome week. When you look at the leaderboard right now, agent of the week, Mr. David Lloyd, uh, over 6,000 in submitted premium, almost 7,000, 6,700 in submitted premium this week. And he's got a really cool, really cool message um, just about, you know, being competitive. Uh, so I'm excited to have Mr. David Lloyd on the call. So without further ado, I'm going to open up Mr. David Lloyd. David, are you there? I am. Can you hear me? I can. Crystal clear. Thanks for jumping on today, and uh, the floor is yours, buddy. All right. Well, uh, I'll start off by saying that, uh, you know, last week uh, I had a terrible week, and uh, I uh, I was sitting, I noticed uh, I was over the weekend, I don't know if you all are like me, but over the weekend I was uh, pulled up the leaderboard and was looking at it, and, and uh, one thing I do not like to ever see, and that's my name on the right side of the board. And so I was like looking at it, and I was like, "Golly, something's got to change. I got to do something. I got to have a better week." And and, uh, and so here I was sitting on the twelfth of the month, and had less than three thousand on the board, and thought, "Well, if I keep up like this, I'm, I might I might hit seven thousand for the month." You know, so I was, was like, "Something's got to change." And so as I looked at that and and kind of looked back and. Um, it wasn't from, you know, lack of working. Sometimes when you work territories that are far away and you're kind of doing some cleanup, uh, you spend a lot of windshield time trying to cover a lot of the miles and counties. But, uh, you know, if you don't get in front of them that time, uh, when, when you go by, you don't have a lot of time just to hang out for a few hours and go knock some other doors and try and go back and catch them. So it's like a, a one time, you know, try to catch them. And if you don't, well, you move on to the next one and, and hope you're lucky. Well, I wasn't very lucky. So, uh, as I came into this week, uh, I knew I had to have a big week and play some catch up. And so I took off and I was actually sat in the office Monday, was working and went and saw a couple of, uh, Met up clients and doing a little service work and ended up writing a couple little life cases uh, uh, doing that. But then when I got my leads for uh, Tuesday and was taken off, well, uh, I get this message from uh, Ricky B, and which uh, we're good friends and we live next door to each other and and uh, work together. And so uh, we, we communicate quite a bit. And we're and Chase has us all in this uh, in this group me text where. Uh, you know, our team is on a you know group text with him and Matt, and and it, it's been a good thing. It it um, kind of opens up competitive nature and talking about what we're doing during the day, and also allows for help if you're in the home. Well, then you have an opportunity if you need something. You've got several guys in the group that you know if one guy can't help you, maybe another one can. And so it's it's been a good thing. But uh, Tuesday I'm taking off and and driving down the road, and I get a text from Ricky it says uh you know hey let's kick butt this week and you know let's uh let's do this let's have a little competition he said uh, uh he said uh and he didn't work at all last week he was his wife was having some medical issues and he had, had been spent the week with her and so he uh anyway just sends me this text and says let's com have a little competition he said first one to get 500 in premium uh says has to cook the other one a ribeye and so i kind of laughed and thought you know uh if it's anything like last week there ain't gonna be no ribeye cooking going on so uh i said i told him back i said well that sounds like a guy that just got 40 leads and you know was feeling pretty good about himself and because he had last week's and this week's leads and i thought you know what i'm gonna do it anyway so i said i need the competition and it'd be it'd just be fun so but i said you're on so uh Anyway, we took off and started writing business and, and uh, back and forth in the group. And, and uh, we, I think, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I went and worked uh, my current leads. And um, and so I ended up having a pretty good couple of days. And I think by mid-afternoon Wednesday, I had hit the, the uh, 500 mark. And, and it was close. I was uh, – we it was up down to the, to the wire where we both had about uh, – I think 430 something in premium and we were just a couple dollars apart and it was like whoever gets the next case they win so I just happened to be the lucky guy that uh, got the next case and so uh I won but but the point is is that it's you know I think a lot of times we um we need that team spirit we we need that motivation
interaction with one another, and it makes us uh, competitive. If, if, if I don't know about y'all, but I look at that leaderboard pretty often, and you tend to look at it quite a bit more when you're up towards the top. And so uh, that competitive nature that we all have is, is, you know, partly why we're in this business. A lot of times it's not about, you know, hey, if I hit $500 in premium, I'm going to make some good money. It's about who's going to cook the ribeye. You know, it's that competitive nature that gets us going a lot of times, and I, it's not really about making the money. We all know deep in our heart that if we do the numbers and work hard, the money's going to come through. It's, you know, once you do it long enough, you, you realize that it's just a numbers game, and you, you've got to put the time in. And some weeks are good and some weeks aren't, but, you know, you know that it's about the numbers. And so that team spirit and motivating each other and being competitive with one another, that, that brings a lot of uh, life to the to our business and it it also you know it makes it where we're having fun and because a lot of times when you're having a bad day and it's hot and I know there were several messages in our group that was like man I was just in this person's house and they didn't have the air on and you know it's 100 degrees outside and and uh, you know they had a window open a little fan blowing and then you walk out just soaking wet from sweating so it's so hot in there so it you know it Something just you got to talk and, and have a little bit of fun with it so that you're not just miserable sometimes with this heat. But um, so I went and worked those leads Tuesday and Wednesday, my my regular twenty that I get, and then uh, yesterday, you know, I I needed to stay busy and keep going, and, and so I took leads that I had worked oh probably a month ago and um, in another county, and so. Uh, you know, you drive, a lot of times you're driving an hour and a half, two hours to get to where you're going to work and spend the day. And so um, it, it's about, you know, making sure that you got stuff to go back and follow up on and, and stuff to go try and catch. And so, so yesterday I uh, went over to another county and was able to pick up a little business. And, and then today I'm headed back up to, you know, the other counties. And so a lot of it's about, it's, it's doing numbers. It's working hard. It's, you know, but the competition a lot of times brings a little more fun to it that we don't normally have every day. And so you know, when you're just out there pounding it by yourself, you, you you know, the only competition you have is looking at the leaderboard. So it's fun to have that friendly competition. But I, I think, you know, when you look at it, when you're at the beginning of the month, if you're, you know, struggling, I mean, don't, don't just give up. You know, I, for you guys that hadn't done this a long time, um, it really is truly about just hard work and doing the numbers. And if you'll go out and work hard and, and put in the numbers, those things will come through. And uh, you'll be able to, you know, make it a great living and have fun doing it and still, you know, get to spend a lot of family time, which I'm sure is important to, to all of us. So um, I will give uh, kudos to Ricky. Uh, he, I ended up beating him to 500, but... Uh, I think at this point he hadn't turned in his business, but I think he's somewhere around 900 in premium for the week. And so he really, those 40 leads, that, that shows you also what a difference it makes to, you know, having leads in your hand and ready to go work and, and being prepared to um, where he works. He goes and spends the night, uh, and this week he's, he'll usually spend a couple nights. This week he spent the whole week there because he had so much to do, so he's, willing to go and be apart from his family and, and to work hard and put the time in. And you can see with his numbers that it's really paying off. So a uh, little, little spirited competition, a little bit of fun, and it kind of helps make the days go by and, and drives us a little bit harder to, um, you know, get that next app and to, you know, beat the guy that you're competing with. So uh, I don't know about Father's Day, but uh, I'll be expecting to enjoy a nice ribeye anyway. So. Anyway, that's all I got, Chase.